Good evening, school board. My name is Christina Smith, and I am one of your visual and performing arts student representatives. Recently, students in the Zane Art class have studied elements of art and created designs to show their understanding of the meaning for each element. This was their first truly creative project, and it was exciting to see how each student approaches the project in a slightly different way. As you can see, there is an impressive range of illustrative ideas shown by the students. Zane Music Families are showing their support of music by submitting parent pledges. Parents are promising to support their student by encouraging them to practice and stay engaged to music in distance learning. Music teacher Carrie O'Neill thought the videos were pretty awesome. We hope you will too. Here are a few examples. Hi, my name is Shayna, and I am eight years old, and I promise to help her, help remind her to practice and I promise to support Katana in practicing her music on a regular daily basis, even on the weekends, for a minimum of 45 minutes a day. How's that? That's good. All right. I solemnly swear that I will support Reef in all of his music endeavors for his whole life. I promise to support my child in doing music. The district elementary music program is off and running. Fourth and fifth graders have started their Google Meet lessons. Our band and string students will be receiving their instruments in the coming weeks. Here are a few fun facts about arts education. Students who take four years of arts and music classes score an average of over 150 points higher on the SAT than students who take only one half year or less. Low income students who are highly engaged in the arts are twice as likely to graduate college as their peers with no arts education. Thank you for listening to our report. Please remember, the arts are essential.